Hey guys, it's Liquid Silence again, and today we are going to take a bit of a look at expandable XOR gates. Yeah, that's right, XOR gates that can have multiple inputs. Let's get to it. Okay, let's start off by checking out my design for a compact 2 input XOR. Um, I am sure there's been a lot of people before me that has done this, but uh, you know, um, nothing in Minecraft is new. Someone somewhere has already <laughs> done what you just designed. So, let's take a look at this. So basically it's two inputs going into uh, these comparators that are side by side on subtract mode and you have a repeater at the end. Now um, for this to work you want these two inputs to be of the same strength. So just to be safe you just have them both at full strength connected to this block. So um, when you have an incoming signal uh, from far away just pop a repeater right next to this block and um, just to make sure that the inputs are uh, the same strength. Uh, this repeater here is there only to amplify the output because when this device gives a true then it's a really weak signal so you just want a nice fresh signal to start off with at the output. Okay let's quickly just test the logic when both of them are uh, false it is false when one of them are true it's true and when both of them are true it is false. Now let's check out um, the expansion of XOR gates. So now um, probably why you're watching this video is because you want a 2, a 3, a 4, 5, 6 or whatever input XOR gate. Now, to design that uh, we must first take a look at uh, some Boolean algebra or Boolean logic. So um, for those of you that do not know Minecraft Redstone is based on Boolean logic. Now the Boolean logic expansion for uh, three input XOR is basically just input A XOR with input B XOR with input C. I will put also put a link uh, in the description with more info about um, this topic, so you can go check that out if you're interested in all the details. I'm not going to go through that. Um, so basically, let's say this is our input A, this is our input B, and let's create an input C. Now, um, the algebra says that uh, the answer is input A XOR with input B, so we already have that here, and that is input oh, XOR with input C. So let's just XOR these two answers together. So to do that we just build uh, another XOR uh, circuit here. So it's exactly the same thing. Put those on subtract mode, pop a repeater there, and remember you want a full strength signal at this block and this block so you just pop repeaters there so you get that full strength input. Cool. So let's just quickly uh, pop a lamp there so we can check out what the input is. So remember for uh, XOR you want a true value if there are um, an uneven number of true inputs. This, that's just a little small thing that helps me remember when the input, oh, the output must be true or false. So when you have an even number of true inputs the in output is false and when there's an uneven number it is true. There we go. That's your three input. Okay and now for the four and beyond input XOR. Now the algebra for the four input XOR is uh, basically A XOR with B and then you have C XOR with D and you XOR the result of those two functions to get the um, output at the end. So basically what we're going to have here instead of the single C input we are going to have uh, C XOR with D uh, into our XOR at the back there. So it's going to XOR the answers of these two. Now you can use the same logic to basically build an XOR um, like a circuit with any amount of inputs that you desire just by uh, using this logic. So if you perhaps want a 5 input XOR you can just slap on another input here and uh, then you would XOR the results of this output with your input over there and you'd have your 5 input XOR. Now of course um, this is not the most <laughs> compact design or space efficient design this is but just to show you how this logic works So, and now you can go experiment and build your own things in your world Let's just test this. So for an uh, uneven amount of true inputs, you have a true, that's correct, and even that's false. And if they're all true, it should be false. There we go. 
Okay, I hope you guys learned something today. <laughs> if you would like me to explain something else or if I was unclear, please let me know. <laughs> I am not particularly good by talking to myself at a computer, but I am learning in the process. Yeah, see you guys around.